Good evening and thanks for joining us. We begin tonight with a question for you. Did you know an estimated one third of all the food produced in the world goes to waste? It sounds shocking, but it's actually true. That's according to the World Wildlife Fund. The holiday season is a big contributor. Not only is wasted food a humanitarian concern, it's also an environmental one. New for you tonight on Nightwatch News 10's Kit Hanley explains why the food you waste is harmful to the earth and what you can do to help. From freezing to blending. There are many simple things you can do to minimize your food waste at home. The holiday season brings a lot of good eats to the table, but not everything makes it to your plate. A lot of times it ends up in the landfill. Chika Bhattacharya is the executive director for Rethink Inc. in Terre Haute. She says chemical reactions start to take place in the landfill. The result is methane, one of the most potent greenhouse gases. When we release a lot of methane in the environment, then we are adding, contributing to the problem of global warming. Bhattacharya says methane adds more heat to the environment, resulting in higher average temperatures globally. However, there is some good news. There are ways you can help fight this at home. Tips are really simple. Cook only as much as you're going to eat or freeze your leftovers or um, compost. You can also add some flair to your recipes with blended ripe fruits and veggies. Now, composting is easier than you might think. And you can do it in the comfort of your backyard. All you have to do is dig a four foot hole, put your food scraps in, cover it with leaves, and then give it a turn every now and again. Any raw food is fair game, but try and avoid meat because it can cause an odor. Bhattacharya says composting also contributes to the quality of the food we consume because you're putting nutrients back into the soil. When we grow food now versus when we grew food 50 or 100 years ago, there is a distinct difference in the amount of nutrients. She believes climate change is an urgent worldwide issue that's not going away. This is the only place we have to live. If we run out of good oxygen, good air, good water, what are we going to do? Reporting in Terre Haute, Kit Hanley, News 10.